Hello, Horror Talk TV viewers, and welcome to another edition of What's in the Box. I'm a little late on this as normal. This is February 2017's uh, Horror Block Box. But if you're missing me, I know you watch just for me. But if you want to watch, like, low rent me. Um, James does unboxings, too, with Loot Crate with his two kids. It's pretty funny. Um, Dan just did his first one. I don't know if you saw it. It's He, he might be British. And he uses his daughter as well. And you might be asking yourself, Steve, why don't you use your kids? Well, I'll tell you why. I, not that I'm judging them, but I just don't feel the need to exploit my children for like page hits or, or views. Um, I just kind of, you know, I, I value their privacy. But I'm not judging James or Dan for sure. You guys do what you want. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and open up a box here. Yeah. As I said, this is... February's box. Uh, I really don't need this knife anymore, but it, since I bought it, I might as well use it. And since they allow me to have sharp objects sometimes, I'll go ahead and take it. Uh, it's been sitting, I've been staring at it for, God, two weeks now. And that's the worst, man. It's like when you stare at the Christmas presents underneath the tree and you know Christmas comes and goes and you still haven't opened them. You're like, what the hell? And it's Christmas every month with Horror Block, let me tell you. Okay, that's gonna be the shirt. Spoiler alert, they always have a shirt, so I'm gonna go through that in a minute. Let's grab this first. This is a Penny Dreadful, I gotta get my standard glasses on, they're not reading glasses. Uh, Penny Dreadful piece uh, from Showtime. <gasps> it's a cool, oh my God, that's awesome. It is a cool keychain with a scorpion in it. That is really sweet. It's one of those things that you'll see at a museum sometimes that your parents won't buy it for you because they're cheap and you hate them. And all you wanted was a keychain with a scorpion in it and your mom left without you and said she was leaving without you. Let's... It's nice. It's really cool. Let's put that to the side there. Let's see what else we got in here. This feels like a lunch bag of some sorts. Oh! This is, oh my God, it's an Amityville Horror. I know, I wanna go shopping tomorrow. It's an Amityville Horror shopping bag. I am yelling right now, because that's what I do when I get excited. Uh, it's, it's a nice little blue tint to it too. That is awesome. And this is the original Amityville, not the remake. Not that I have a problem with the remake. Um, I actually think the remake stands on its own. Uh, the original, um, uh, I can't, the, the name is escaping me, not Kidder, um, his son is a far better actor, um, Roland, Roland, James Roland, that's right, I hear the angels talking, uh, James Roland, good in his own right, his son Josh is a far better actor, and James is really wooden in the Am Amityville Horror, um, I like Deadpool in the remake, he's cool, so, yeah, come on, let's face it though, Amityville is a fine movie, but it's like, it's like Janis Joplin. She really wasn't that good, but she died at the right time. Amityville came out at the good time, so it became kind of a classic on somebody else's coattails. I don't know who, but... Okay, so let's go to DVD. Oh, you can drop the dislikes and the hate in the comments below. That's cool. Um, got a DVD here. Uh, Silent Retreat. Um, from Black Fawn uh, Distribution. Um, I've not heard of this one. Uh, you can hear, hear them all. But I do like, um, I do like how they give DVDs in lately and Blu-rays. I prefer the Blu-rays because I'm a Blu-ray type of guy. But the DVDs are cool. Uh, nice cover there. And there's a quote from Rue Morg on top there. So, you know, who doesn't like Rue Morg? I think we all love Rue Morg. Rue Morg that's still publishing. So. Uh, okay, so that's going to be the Room Work Magazine to know. So, maybe. Maybe, nope. God. This is Neato Burrito. Uh, Vault of the Macabre. Dare you enter. Uh, who wrote this? Darren 
field, it looks like. It's uh, poetry. Uh, I guess it's dark poetry. I would hope it's dark poetry being in a horror block and all. Um, I also like the books that they put in it as well. Books and movies that mixes it up. I like, I'm not going to lie. I mean, if you watch my videos, I'm a big fan of just horror block in general. Everything that they put in. Put that over there. Uh, let's see now. Uh, okay. This is the little magazine that they've been putting in, which is kind of cool. It tells you everything that's in the box. Uh, the Amityville Horror Tote Bag, it's an exclusive. The Vault of the Macabre is an exclusive. Silent Retreat DVD, Penny Dreadful Keychain, and I'm gonna stop looking now because there's still a few other things that I, I get mad when it gets spoiled for me. And they're doing a really good job not doing that. Oh, Room work with Raw on the cover, which Gabino just reviewed. So check out the site, Gabino just reviewed uh, Raw. Um, you know, I always say $19.99 a month plus shipping and handling. You always get 99.9% .9 of the time you get a Room Morgue. And this is an $8 magazine. Uh, take it back, kids. It's $9.95 in the U.S. Half your cost right here in this box. And, and we all know what a great mag Room, room Morgue is. All right, so let's see what else we got here. There's something in the shrink wrap. <gasps> Nice. This is a little um, Amityville Horror pin. This goes well with the, um, there was a Jason Voorhees, uh, Jason Mask pin that came a couple months ago. This will go right on the backpack with that. Pretty, pretty cool there. I like in this scene, I wonder where it came from. I wonder if there's anything special about this month that's Amityville. Did they wonder if they just moved into the house this month or what? As normal. Uh, your $10 credit to Shirt Punch. Um, and also, I've never noticed this until uh, I saw something on it. The back of these have a... Um, remember when, or well, if you're my age, uh, you would get the, like, the tops cards, the movie cards, and on the back, you'd have a puzzle. And it was one other reason to collect them all. Well, if you collect all the puzzle pieces for this nerd block, apparently you get a $100 gift certificate to uh, Shirt Punch. Uh, but this is to, yeah, so may, don't hold me to that. Even though it's on tape, don't hold me to that. I know you do get uh, something. You have to check out nerd block. So let's check out the, the, the shirt that I will mess up and get wrong, no doubt. Yes, I am. Oh, this, I shouldn't know this. Maybe. I'm going to have to look it up. I almost want to say it's the Crazies, but that's wrong because the Crazies has more of a yellow tone. It's a shirt shirt. Any clue? So I'm going to look this one out. Check this out. This is what the book is for. And I would never have gotten it. This is a shirt from The Purge, which... This must be the election year one. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, I would never have gotten it even though I saw the movie and quite enjoyed it. Actually, I'm enjoying that whole series. Uh, it's a great series. Um, that's all I have for you now, clearly. I did all the whole box. Uh, all the links and such will be on the bottom where you can get your own horror block. Uh, make sure to watch the other videos of the other two guys who exploit their kids to get um, hits. Uh, or you can watch someone who's sincere and, and, and really just does it for you and doesn't, you know, bring in an extra, you know, children or anything like that just to get people to like him. Um, thanks again for watching, and uh, that's all I got to say about that. No guns today because I think we ran out of budget.